stained glass, you know, you black outline and everything. Right. But with this, for the effect that we want, for the force just to be there and things to kind of blend and some right. things pop out, we're going to do a little different method this time. This is, this is called so, stick lighting, you said? Well, this is uh, putting the paint on first here. Right. This is what's called matting, but you can do it either as a mat or a stipple. Right. For example here. If you mat it, it's like this. And you'll do it until you basically get rid of all the brush strokes in it. Oh, I see. So it comes very easy. Yeah, and then this is what we would call a stipple. Okay. And when the glass is a little uneven like this, it rattles on the paper. So we'll do a little bit of half and half. Since this is just a, a test piece and experimenting with right. colors and everything, we'll leave half of it that way and half of it this way. Right. Because uh, the way that forest is, we might want to stipple some into the background here. Oh, okay. You know, to give you that little bit of push along. Get up there and get comfortable. Yeah, after this paint dries, it goes back to almost a powder. Because I'm only using water-based uh, uh, paints. But see, it's a heavy metal oxide paint that when fired in, fuses into the glass. It'll be there forever. So, uh, but if I want to take off some, for like where the trees are going to be, and then we can stair step them, have some more towards the back, have to get a, just an indication of where we want them to be. So this is called stick lighting, this is where you... Well, actually this is not the stick lighting yet, this is just a real fine brush. brush. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, brushing it off a little bit here oh, and there. Oh, okay. And uh, so I want but to get you are creating lighting in a sense. Yeah, here. yes, it does create lighting. But, uh, with this paint, everything's almost a reverse, you know, you cover it with paint and then you take it off. But now this is a stick here, mm -hmm. and so what we want to do if we want to come in and make some really sharp lines on things. And then we can uh, uh, add the limbs. A little brush here again. Then we'll come in with this. This is going to be like a pine tree or something. There. Uh, any kind of tree. We're going to. Uh, These are in the distance anyway, so you really can't tell what kind. Of yeah, we're going to be a little more specific as we get into the real thing. But like I say, some for of them now, will be cypress trees. And some yeah, of them. cypress, and then we'll do some palms in there. But uh, uh, then these other trees back here could be just very faint. Because they're way on the distance. Yeah. And then we want to highlight one side here a little bit more. Because that's where we'll put more of the, the amber color later. Yes, uh huh. So and then uh, doing one side of the tree here is going to let us look like the light's coming from this direction. Right. You right. know, so. Now. I'm going to try and do like a palm tree on this one here. Uh, I'll probably get my fingers in this one, but again, it's yeah. just a sample piece, you know, right, just, yeah. just testing everything. And again, uh, I'll probably let this fade into the background a little more. I won't, you know, it won't mm -hmm. jump out quite so much. Mm -hmm. I think what's definitely going to make all this pop is when we get the amber in there and... Oh yeah, the ambers and the greens and stuff. The greens that, and we add the, right. yeah, the green tones to the shading then will really, really pop. And it'll also create that light and dark effect that we're looking for. So this is supposed to be an early morning scene with the sun just getting ready to rise. And like I say, when I get down to the nitty gritty, I'll do a much better job on all these things here. But for the moment, I just want to make sure that everything colors and all that's going to really work. Right, and work we're working out. on this glass. You got to be sure the glass is going to this particular glass. Yeah, we're, we're working with Yuckaganey stipple glass here, so. And then I'm putting stipple over the stipple glass. <laughs> stipple on top of the stipple glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is. 
So I think I'm just going to highlight this one side on the palm tree here. But depending on the size on the get on the others, though, we can put the little extras on it. Well, that, then, that kind of illustrates how it is, and then we right. Yeah, and then, then uh, we want some uh, palmettos here in the foreground. Again, palmettos, they grow, some of the leaves go almost backwards and then they eventually go forward. That, and... All right, I'm going. All right. And after that, we take it and then we'll put it in the kiln. We got one piece in here cooking already. You can see the red glow, but the paint hasn't uh, glazed yet. You can see it on top of the glass. Right. And that's actually yellow. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of orange, but once it fires, then it turns yellow. Oh, okay. So that's what we're doing right now.